What's up guys? Welcome to part two with this Rakdos Pyromancer list. We are really, really enjoying this one. Uh, despite some network issues, we are still two and one uh, overall record with this deck, and I, I couldn't be happier. This one is very, very fun. If you've not tried a deck like this, uh, I highly recommend it. Young Pyromancer is an amazing card, uh, but a deck like this really can capitalize on it in a, a tremendous way, so very happy with that. Uh, this isn't great, but we're going to try it. Um, we are still kind of in the learning experience with this deck, so not everything is going to be perfect, but uh, I'd, uh, I'd like to be able to say we can do some good stuff with this hand. I'm just going to throw this out there. Potential that they have like a Spectral Sailor kind of thing. I don't know how high that is in Historic. Look at this. Look at this. I should have just left... Nah, that's fine. Um, man, when you know, you know, you know, uh, actually I'm kind of happy. I'd rather shock that. <laughs> um, let's get rid of this guy. Let's make everybody sack a creature. Um, I'd like to get that done now, uh, because chances are we're going to need that again with this, uh, Dreadhorde Arcanist soon. Ooh, Croxa. Um, I think we play Croxa then. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe we claim it. Maybe we claim the Croxa. I kind of like that. Let's just see how that goes. We're we're testing, right? We're learning. Uh, this is a very discard-heavy outlet, as it turns out. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, so next turn, we can Dreadhorde Arcanist, then fame it. Uh, and actually play, like, a shock or whatever we need to to get rid of one of these threats. Um, both of which are very heavy threats, so. Alright, let's do this, let's do this. Let's fame. Uh, and we attack in. And they gave up immediately. Wow, that, uh, was a very quick concession. I did not think that they would at that point. Uh, I would think you would give it another draw. Uh, but, hey, they gave up. We're here. We got it. Uh, that's three wins overall now for us. Uh, if you didn't check out the first video, I do recommend you do so. You can kind of see what the deck's about. Uh, but man, that was a fun one. Um, two more games. Let's see if we can do it. We'll, of course, sum up things at the very end as well. We'll kind of talk about the deck. But wow, this is that that was phenomenal. That was exactly what we wanted to be able to do. Um, this is quite a nice little keep. We've got a turn one thought sees here. There's a temptation, I believe, to hold off on the Thoughtseize um, because you have the Young Pyromancer. I think that's an easy trap to fall into, but I would not suggest doing that. Um, generally, I think that, that that plan falls a bit short, uh, is what I will say. Uh, all of these are terrible. Um, Paradise Druid less so, but let's get rid of this Nissa. That Nissa is a very problematic card. Um, Alright, let's do this. Get this out there. The only good news is, until they get to Ugin, removal might be a bit of a, like, not big issue. How do I say that correctly? You know what I mean. Uh, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. And so, I'm actually pretty happy here to, to do this. Um, let's be aggressive. Let's see what they do. I didn't think they would go for it, but, like, gotta try. Um, kind of want to see how this works. Okay, cancel. Well, you can learn. Um, I wondered if the trigger would happen first, so you get the 1-1, one, one, and then you could name that as the sacrificed creature, but obviously not, and that's fine. Wow, they just drew a lot of Paradise Druids. Uh, Alright, let's do this. Um, I am going to attack in here. Obviously, they're not willing to block, uh, which is fine by me. Um... I don't, the problem we're in now is we just don't want to sacrifice either of these. Uh, they're both very good. Um, let's see what they do. They may just shoot one of these down. In which case we get to do this. Perfect. Alright. Hmm. Oh, well, should have sacrificed the other one, but that's fine. Uh, let's do this. Let's draw a couple cards. Uh, 
Hmm. We're gonna take the opportunity to draw as much as we can, I believe. Um, that's pretty good. Um, and then I think we just play this out. This is gonna, like, chances are they're just gonna sweep. Uh, realistically, and that's totally fine by me. Um, I think we do attack in here, though. Yeah. And that's fine. So now they just either get to sweep, or um, really, they don't even have to. They could just kind of let things happen. But uh, we do have some ways to get things back here and do some major damage, so I'm hoping that we can do that. Okay, cool. That kind of works out. Um... All right, let's play Dreadhorde Arcanist. Let's play Claim. Get a young Pyromancer. <clears throat> let's give this haste. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, obviously play land out. We can Thought Seize. Do we need to Thought Seize? I kind of think probably. Okay, yeah, glad we thought seized. <laughs> um, let's just attack everything here. Uh, and what do we want to do here? I think it's just shock. We just shock the Ugin. We're just trying to get that thing into a manageable place, so if they do decide to sweep, it's like not really the best thing for them. So they can minus two it and get rid of everything, in which case it's at three. In which case, we can actually kill it. Um, assuming they don't have any other major thing to, to do here. And they might. But we're going to try it. Nice. It's pretty good. Uh, okay, so we claim. Dreadhorde Arcanist. We fame. Dreadhorde Arcanist. Play lands. Do this. Um, so we just, I guess we just cast Innocent Blood and like both kill our creatures, which isn't great, but it's essentially just going to happen anyway. Um, they just block because they're not going to sacrifice their Ugin. So really, we're just in top deck mode. We just have to hope we can get there. Um, and chances are, that, yeah, that's a bit rough. There's not really a huge reason in playing out all of our lands, but like, you know, it is what it is. Um, I think we put up a fight here, but we're definitely not gonna not gonna pull out the win. <laughs> With 22 lands, we are just getting a ton. That's a little ridiculous, but that's okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've almost got half of our lands. <laughs> um, yeah, if we don't get there next turn, we're probably just gonna concede. Um, just because then they're in, like, ultimate Ugin territory. We will try this, because if we hit, like, a Croxa, you know. Alright, well, we didn't. Um, yep. Still hope. Yeah, we did hit a Croxa. They damn near could have killed us. Um, okay. Let's see what we can do here first. Okay, so Lurus, Stitcher Supplier. Hmm. Well. I kind of just like the Lurus. Like, it's not the most amazing card in the world, but it's pretty good. Um, now we can Croxa. Uh, Escape it. Worth noting, we should really care more about what we're escaping with, but it really, I think at this point, doesn't matter that much. Technically, we probably should have done this first as well, just based off of they have a card in their hand, but it doesn't matter, I don't think. Uh, they do just kind of get to win next turn. Um, but let's let them live the dream. 
If they want to play a, uh, or ultimate their Ugin, let them. That's a very fun experience, so might as well. There you go. Obviously, they've, they're going to have a lot of permanents, so let's see what they've got. Uh, I will say, though, if they've got things like Ferocious Hydra, they're not really as good as you would think. Well, that's good. Um, okay. Yep. <laughs> well, we're going to die. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Um, but hey, this was really cool. <laughs> Oh, they get to fight off. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. Thankfully, it has a death touch counter on it, so it dies. <laughs> <coughs> and we gain three life. Yep. 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 <laughs> They didn't attack, though. That's kind of funny. Um, all right. Well, here we go. <laughs> let's uh, let's do this. Let's watch it not work. <laughs> yeah. Let's just concede. They got it. They got to ultimate there, Ugin. That was cool. Uh, well done, opponent. Uh, unfortunately, we, we did get a little flooded there. Um, I don't think we still would have won it, to, to be clear. I think they just had a, a better play than we did, but... Um, that was, that was, that was cool to see them uh, ultimate their Ugin. That's always a fun time. So well done, opponent. Um, <clears throat> last game, we are, oh goodness, what three and two? So we're shooting for above average here. Um, again, I really like the deck. Like overall, it's a very fun deck, um, and I do recommend it. This is an interesting hand. This is one we'll keep. Uh, but it this village rights obviously does essentially nothing at this point. Um, but we've got double Thoughtseize and, and, uh, a Shock here, which is pretty good, so I'm gonna go with it. Uh, double Village Rights is pretty terrible. Alright. What do we care about most? Probably just this. That's a little tricky for us to deal with, just because it gets so big so quickly. Um, but we've got Shocks and things to deal with a lot of these other, you know, little pieces. Uh, let's Thoughtseize again. I'm going to take that, uh, and I'm also just going to shock this. Um, might have been better to have waited on that uh, for this Angel of Vitality, but um, it is what it is. Uh, it's not going to do much good here, but let's go ahead and do this. Ooh, that was loud. Um, there we go. Play that, and play a Stitcher Supplier. All right. We just kind of have to hope they didn't draw too many good things, I think. That's about it. That's good, but that's not the end of the world. Um, wow, so many village rights. My goodness. Uh, let's do this. Both of those are, like, good cards to actually do that to. But play out you. Play you. I'm actually going to do this. Um, we get a replacement 1-1, one, one, and we mill 3 which is pretty useful in this deck, so... Cool, and we got a Shock. Shock is very helpful uh, to deal with this Angel. Good. Just to land. Ooh, not good. Not good, not good. Alright, well... Yep. <laughs> it was pretty good. Um... Sure. How many village rights can we possibly draw? Uh, not that I'm, like, opposed to it. It's just, dang. Um, we'll shoot here and see what happens. I assume they just block with the uh, Daxos. Sure. We'll shoot this down. Get another one. Just do this. Thoughtseize. Not very helpful at this point. Um, let's do it again. Claim. Do we have anything good in our graveyard? Yeah, we do, actually. Um, Alright, let's do that, and let's claim. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. Pretty good. Uh, they can pump this up. So that's not good for us. But uh, at least they bricked on land. Like, that's all they got. Um, sorry for the frames. It looks like we're dropping a bit. Uh, the good news is here, pretty much no matter what, we get to kill this Ajani. Uh, which is crucial. Okay. They didn't attack. Um, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, and let's just go ahead and take out this Ajani. That's a problematic card overall, and so I'd like to make sure we just can get rid of that. And now, like, these guys are very strong, don't get me wrong, but we also have ways to kind of deal with them slowly. It is a slow way, but, like, we, we get to just throw these guys, you know, at them, and it's fine. Like, doesn't matter that much. Um, also worth noting, now hold on, um, so we can actually do this, kill this 4-4, four four, um, and then we just get to replay it with Lurus. Sure. Okay, Dragon Skull Summit. Uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm. Let's play this. Let's fame it. All right. Uh, I think that that's okay. Yeah, they should block here, I suppose, but that's fine. They do want to keep their life total above a certain amount just because of what this deck is, so that's helpful for them. Um, I don't think we thought Seize, like, just to get a token. I, I don't know. It would be a very good blocker here. Um, but I'm just not sure. The good thing here is it can just block and we just get to replay it if we want. Sure. Man, every single land. Um... Well, in that case, I actually think we Stitcher Supplier and hope to hit, like, a Croxa. <sighs> of course we didn't. Um, let's do that. Uh, mm. Alright, I think we just pass. We're in kind of a strange place where we're just not able to really get much traction. Uh, part of that might just be my playing very well could be um but i think we're kind of doing as best we as we the best we possibly can given the circumstances um croxa give me a croxa nope okay man every single land um let's get young peasy let's thought seize now just to get a token okay sure uh worth it We'll play land, um, and we have to pass. Uh, we just can't really afford to swing in with a 5-5 when they've got a 4-4 flyer uh, on the backside. That's very good. Um, they could force us to block with a particular creature if they wanted us to. Like, they could give this pro black, um, or excuse me, pro red, and then make us block with one of these guys. Uh, you know, something like that would be cool, but um, I don't know if that's worth it, but... They certainly could. Um, they have to wonder, I guess, at this point, is it worth it to keep attacking? I think, I mean, it is because it's resources, but like they're, um, 
they're not getting super far with it. Um, all right, a shock. A shock is actually pretty helpful. Um, we have so many lands. Um, all right, let's. We have to kind of kill this guy, um, just because we obviously know that that's you know part of the plan. I'm gonna go for Stitcher Supplier here over the Young Pyromancer. That's why I'm doing this first, by the way. Um, sure, that's fine. Doesn't matter. You got it. Um, all right, and again, we're just hoping to hit a Croxa. That's all we can hope for. Still no Croxa. Oh my goodness. Um, well, I mean, there's nothing we can do. Uh, until we hit a Croxa and can start generating some, like, true value, we're just not getting anywhere. Um, I think we block with the, su the supplier here. What's cool is we can kind of chain these, uh, to, until we hit it, but we're, we're gonna run out of cards here at some point, so, like, that is a worry. There we go. Okay. Now we've got some game. Um, oh, and look, another Croxa. Um, alright, well, let's, let's tag him with the one from our hand first. Get rid of that. Let's do this. Get rid of some lands uh, if we can. Four, five, there we go. Get that done. Um, now we're in a position where we really don't want to keep milling stuff because now we've got the Croxa. Um, so, I think we just do this. What do we have in our graveyard, I wonder? Plenty of stuff. Let's uh let's attack in and see what we can do. Let's shock a thing. Let's just shock this little guy. Gives us more tokens. Uh they can just kill this dreadhorde arcanist, but I really don't care. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, and now they don't have hardly anything really to do much damage. I mean, this can attack in, but we've got plenty of ways to kill it. This deck runs Banishing Light, uh, as we've, I believe, seen. Well, maybe not. Uh, generally, uh, these decks run Banishing Light, and so that's not really a big crucial threat in my mind. Um, now they have to wonder, though, if it's correct to attack with the 14-14, uh, because Croxa does eventually win, uh, but it's slow. Okay, they want to do it. Let's do this. All the blockers in the world. Okay, like I said, don't want to play the Stitcher suppliers here. Um, hmm. So we can do this. Do I just want to escape it and then we get two things? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> um, we've got the mana, so like I'm not stressed about doing this. Three, four. Uh, we can get rid of Stitcher Suppliers at this point. Not going to play those. Um, we'll keep this one, obviously. This is literally just as a discard. Um, okay. We can play this out. We can honestly just keep doing this, um, which I'm kind of fine with. Um, uh, no, let's cancel that. All right. Interesting. I'm gonna wait. I don't know if that's correct or not. We can just kind of cycle these back and forth if we'd like, but we do have... Wow, they gave up! They had plenty of life. Like, we weren't we weren't getting there on life total. Wow. 
Okay, well, we got there. We got there for four and two as our final record with this uh, really, really sweet Rakdos Pyromancer list. Um, like I said, this deck does a phenomenal job. Ooh, great. Uh, of 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 really devaluing a lot of things and you could see that throughout the games where we're able to pick apart the opponent's hand deal with some of those small things with things like shock and innocent blood and then be able to just take over uh last minute and kind of hopefully win that way great we finished out our mastery go us we're masters or whatever um how exciting i don't really care about the mastery tree i'm gonna be honest um anyway I really like this deck. I do recommend it. I think it's a fun one. The value that this poses is very, very high. Uh, and it, it's effective because it can deal with a lot of different things. Because it's dealing with like the hand, not necessarily the board quite as much. Um, it's got so many ways to deal with anything. You just thought seize the hand. Or you uh, innocent blood a creature that you can't shock. Or whatever. Uh, and it really does a great job of, you know, churning through the deck with things like village rights um, and and just a ton of tokens. So I love it. I recommend it. This deck was amazing. Uh, this is right up my alley. So I love this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to check out our Patreon if you are not already there. Please don't feel like you have to, but um, new rewards are out if you're interested. We've got Cultivate. We've got uh, Doubling Season. And then, of course, we've got Bayou uh, as this month's rewards, as, as well as a mystery card. And then if you would like past proxies, there are tiers for you there. Uh, really do appreciate all the support, not only on the videos, but on the Patreon. So thank you guys so much. And I will see you very soon for another gameplay video. Thanks, guys.